All right. Hello, YTPC. YouTube pipe community. Yeah, YTPC. Uh, Bobby here. Good to see you all. Um, I don't post a lot of videos. I hope to be doing more of it. Um, honestly, I, I don't have any idea about how to edit videos yet. I still need to look that up. Um, so, you know, you're going to get what you're going to get until I get better at it. But I figured I needed to do this because I've been so excited. I've been waiting almost a month now. Let me look this up. I haven't really done much prep other than set up my uh, camera. Um, and I'm going to check the date that this deal went down. I have a Yabo. That's what it's called, right? An unboxing. This is no, that's not what I want to do. Um, I'm trying to see what date. I guess I don't know what date this all went down. I guess it was almost a month ago. Um, and so I, I ordered my first pipe. My first real brand new pipe from someone on I found him on Facebook uh, his his company I guess or his brand that's probably better his brand is called Mira pipes M I R A pipes and he's in Serbia and his name is Nikola I'll read it right off the box here Nikola Miskovic and I, I chatted with him on messenger a bunch seems like a very cool guy I've seen a bunch of pictures of his pipes and really cool pipes. I plan on getting another one. I think I've kind of already got like an order in for a, uh, for a summer apple is what he calls it. And I'm excited about that too. I haven't paid him for it yet, but I plan to get that from him sometime this summer. I know he's got a few of them in the works right now. And we talked about a color scheme. Um, but here's the box. This came all the way from Serbia. Uh, I think it's really fun. Beograd Street. No, Beograd is the city, I assume. And yeah, really cool guy. Um, I know he is a part of the Serbian Pipe Society, I think is what it's called. And you can look those videos up on YouTube. Um, couple of cool guys a few good guys on there maybe more than a couple unfortunately i think most of their videos are going to be in a different language is it serbian is that what you call the language i don't know but uh i know how to open boxes i'm just taking the slow way i guess i'm very excited about this like i said i've been waiting about a month for this pipe i i got when i first got into the pipe smoking hobby it was around January right now it is April so I've only been in for you know a few months so far but I smoked cigars before that and I enjoy the heck out of that and I actually enjoy pipe smoking even more um, a lot more flavors to choose from uh, you know just the pipes are fun I got a lot of corn cob pipes and I bought quite a few used uh, briar pipes on eBay inexpensive ones nothing nothing special yet um, so that like I said this is my first brand new briar pipe purchase um, and I, I was happy to get this from him like I said I saw it on YouTube he had he had some pipes listed it's got nice packaging here really nice I got some extra pipe cleaners which is cool i don't think i've had any of these um oh, i guess i don't know i thought this might have been those scrubby ones but maybe not they're just some extra fuzzy ones and some normal ones that's nice of him uh and so let's get to it let's look at this pipe so this is called a horn pipe it's a little bit of a different shape than your usual, you know, standard shapes, I think. <clears throat> and when I saw it, <clears throat> I just, 
I, I liked it a lot. I figured that'd be a cool one to start my collection with, the pipes that I'm actually gonna purchase. So it's got a nice velvet blue pipe sock, pipe bag. It's not really a sock, I wouldn't put this on my foot. It's a nice bag though. Um, opening it up. And here it is. My first look. Oh, look at that. So, as you can see, it's kind of a horn shape. And it's partially rusticated. Beautiful grain. Oh, it's spectacular grain. He's got a little, a little stamp on there. Really small writing. Oh, Mira something. Too small for me to read right now. But I'll give you a closer look. See, it's got this top portion that's partially rusticated. I think that's in the frame. And then look at this grain. It's so pretty. And it's kind of this... Uh, Hexagonal, is that six? Hexagonal, partially hexagonal shape, but then the top is rounded. Um, and then the stem. From the pictures, I remember the stem being a pretty stem as well. And it is, look at this. Very excited about this pipe. Uh, I wish my wife was more excited about my pipe smoking. I would, I would show this to her and tell her how excited I am about it, but she just doesn't care. So she's probably just gonna end up seeing it around and figure, oh, I made another purchase. That's what she'll figure. Oh, look at how pretty this stem is. It's a nice, big, fat, wide stem. It's gorgeous. I love it so much. Let's see how this fits, huh? All right, it fits perfect. It's the same shape as the as the rest of the pipe. Look at that. It's incredible. It's it's about the same length as a regular billiard, maybe a little more, and I'm I'm really digging that because it's it's big. It's not a, a tiny little pipe. I don't want a tiny little pipe. At least not sometimes. Oh, it's gorgeous. I love it, love it, love it. And it's got a pretty decent sized bowl which is good because I don't I don't actually prefer a giant bowl uh, I, I, when I when there's a big fat wide bowl that can fit a lot of tobacco in it I tend to think that you know somewhere halfway through it, it starts to change a little too much um, I'd prefer and this has got kind of a deep chamber you saw I can I can barely get my finger in there and now I'm touching the bottom so it's about half of my finger long and that's wonderful and so what I'm gonna do mm, oh my gosh it's so pretty I'm so excited right now I figured I would let you guys now again I don't know how to edit videos yet so this whole thing is just gonna be on there sorry about it if there are any boring parts I know when I watch videos I don't think any of the parts are boring so I figure you guys can just bear with me um, I should have brought a a board or something to rub some of this tobacco out I'm also going to be trying for my first time I got some Orlick Golden Sliced. And this is my first time trying it right now. 
and you can see I thought this was so awesome it comes in a very long flat uh, slices and they're long they're almost as long as my arm so I just shoved them all right in here in this jar let's see how much I'm gonna need Orlick golden sliced I know I've you know a lot of people like this I I like all kinds of tobacco so far I actually do prefer the uh, I, I'm gonna call them Americans like you know Virginia's and Burley's and I know that they're not always only grown in America but that's just how I see it in my head since there are English tobaccos and Balkan style tobaccos I like all of those probably are my favorite aromatics I like a little less but I do like all the flavor options that there are in aromatics but uh, so I'm just gonna try some of this or lick sliced. I don't have any information in front of me about what's in this Orlick golden sliced. And from my memory, I'm pretty sure it's just Virginia's, maybe some Burley. I could totally be wrong. But it should be just a kind of a mellow, sweet, grassy hay smoke from what I'm told and I should like that just fine so I've got that in there I'm not gonna top it off this time um, just cuz I don't feel like it let me cap this back off oh this pipe is wonderful um, you know it looked beautiful in the pictures but it's cool having it in my hand. It looks even bigger than in the pictures and I'm happy, happy, happy about that. Um, so here we go. Cheers. Yeah, I'm already tasting that a little bit, and it is just kind of a light, mellow tobacco flavor. And I'm noticing that when I'm lighting this pipe, I can't really see how it's doing, but, you know, I know how to light a pipe. Mmm. Oh my gosh, this thing. Is really incredible. It's, it's not the lightest pipe I have, but it's actually pretty light compared to how big it is. It's, it's, it's a little bit of an illusion. And it's got kind of a, a kind of a faddish wide bit which makes it nice for clenching because it's not all this weight concentrated on a tiny little spot in my mouth mm. Oh, and this Orlick is really good. Um, I'm definitely going to enjoy getting through this three and a half ounce tin of the stuff that I bought. And I have another 1.75 ounce tin on the way, so that's not bad. Mmm. Oh, it's wonderful. I'm, I'm in love. It's my new favorite.
favorite pipe. Again, I know you've seen it, but I'm just gonna spend my time checking it out. It's funny, I'm on, I'm, I'm a member of the Hooligans of the Leaf Cigar and Pipe Club online. You can check us out on Facebook and Instagram. And when I showed the guys some pictures of this pipe that I had purchased, immediately one of them called it a duck pipe. And I thought that was pretty funny. I am not ashamed to call it my duck pipe. Uh, it is beautiful. I'm so happy. You know, maybe. I think I'm still in the frame, but I wanted to show you in the sunlight. Hopefully you can see that a little better. Maybe it's not too far from the camera. Look at that grain right there. Wow. And the pipe wasn't very expensive either. I don't know if it's, uh, I don't know if it's, you know, okay to say the price or not. So I'm just not, but I know that it wasn't as expensive as some American pipe makers that I've inquired with. Uh, like I said, this guy's from Serbia, Mira pipes. It is beautiful. And I absolutely plan to buy some more pipes from him. So there's my, there's my new duck pipe for you and hmm. I am just gonna enjoy my summer with this so much and I hope you guys enjoy all your stuff that you got going on and I'll talk to you real soon have a good day